the largest land animal ever discovered turned out to be nobody. That's right. Agathumus, the great wonder dinosaur found in 1872, was once celebrated as the most massive creature to walk the Earth. Scientists were so excited, they named it after the Greek words for much and wonder. But today, most paleontologists treat it like it never existed at all. This incredible dinosaur went from scientific superstar to complete mystery. And the reason why will change how you think about fossil discoveries forever. What if the most exciting dinosaur discovery in history happened by accident in a Wyoming coal mine? Picture this. Workers in 1872 are digging through ancient rock layers, looking for coal to power steam engines. Instead, they hit something completely different. Massive bones scattered through the rock like pieces of a giant puzzle. These weren't just any bones. They were huge. Bigger than anything scientists had ever seen before. The workers had stumbled into what used to be a lush forest millions of years ago. You can imagine thick trees, ferns everywhere, and rivers winding through the landscape. When this ancient forest got buried and turned into coal, it trapped something incredible alongside the plant matter. The fossil hunters who arrived at the site couldn't believe their eyes. Individual bones stretched longer than a grown person. Hip bones wider than dinner tables. Ribs that curved like massive archways. These bones seemed impossible, like they belonged to a creature from mythology rather than real life. The ancient environment tells us a fascinating story. Leaves and sticks got preserved right next to the dinosaur bones. That means this giant lived in a world of dense forests and swampy areas. The coal seams formed from all those ancient plants, creating a perfect time capsule that kept everything together for 66 million years. When scientists measured these bones, they realized they had found the largest land animal known to science. The measurements showed something that dwarfed elephants, rhinos, and every other massive creature they'd studied. This discovery broke all the rules about how big land animals could get. The excitement was so intense that scientists chose a Greek name, meaning much wonder, for their find. You can feel their amazement just from that name choice. They called it Agathumus because this creature filled them with wonder at nature's incredible power. This discovery made Agathamus famous as the first horned dinosaur known from more than just scattered teeth. Before this find, scientists only had tiny fragments to study. Now they had actual body parts from a real giant. The sheer size made Agathomus a scientific celebrity overnight. Here was proof that the ancient world held creatures beyond anyone's wildest imagination. But there was something strange about these bones that nobody noticed at first. Imagine trying to identify a person using only their hip bones and ribs. That's exactly the problem scientists faced with Agathamus. You'd never be able to tell who someone was just from those parts, right? The same issue hit paleontologists when they looked closer at their amazing discovery. Here's what they actually found in that Wyoming coal mine. 16 tailbones lined up in a row, hip bones that connected the back legs to the spine. Several curved ribs from the chest area. All massive, all impressive, but something crucial was completely missing. No skull. No horns. No bony frill around the neck. Nothing that makes horned dinosaurs special and unique. Think about it like this. If you saw a mystery car, but could only look at the wheels and doors, you'd have no idea if it was a sports car or a truck. The most important identifying features 
would be hidden from view. Here's why that missing skull mattered so much. Keratopsian dinosaurs are famous for their headgear. Some had three horns pointing forward like spears. Others had frills decorated with spikes around the edges. A few had curved horns that swept backward. The skull tells you everything about what kind of horned dinosaur you're looking at. Body bones from different Ceratopsian species look almost identical. Hip bones from a Triceratops match, hip bones from other horned dinosaurs. Tail bones follow the same pattern. Ribs curve the same way across different species. Scientists discovered they were trying to solve a puzzle with all the boring pieces and none of the exciting ones. The frustration must have been incredible. They had proof of this giant creature, but no way to know what it actually looked like. Was it related to other horned dinosaurs? Did it have a completely different appearance? The bones couldn't answer those questions. Scientists came up with a fancy term for this problem. They call it nomen dubium, which means doubtful name. It's their way of saying they can't be sure this dinosaur is real or different from others. The skull that would tell them everything about Agathamus was nowhere to be found. This missing piece turned all that excitement into confusion. The greatest discovery suddenly became the greatest mystery. This confusion got even worse when rival scientists started fighting over dinosaur bones. How did a dinosaur that might not even exist become a movie star and inspire the most famous dinosaur art ever created? Meet Charles Knight, an artist who faced an impossible challenge in 1897. Scientists asked him to paint Agathamus, but remember, they only had hip bones and ribs to work with. Knight had to become a detective and an artist at the same time. He couldn't paint what nobody had ever seen, so he borrowed pieces from other dinosaurs. He took horns from one species that had been discovered. He grabbed the frill design from another. The body shape came from a third dinosaur entirely. Knight was basically creating a dinosaur smoothie, mixing different ingredients to make something new. The creative process worked like building with blocks. Scientists would describe the size and weight based on those hip bones. Knight would sketch different horn arrangements. They'd discuss how the creature might have looked when it walked or fought. Together, they built an image of the great wonder from pure imagination and educated guesses. Knight's artwork became incredibly powerful. His painting showed a massive dinosaur with three forward-pointing horns and a solid bony frill. People saw this image and thought, that's what Agathamus looks like. The problem? Nobody actually knew if that was true. This imaginary version of Agathamus became a star in 1925. Hollywood producers making The Lost World needed dinosaur models for their movie. They used Knight's artwork as their guide. Stop-motion artists built clay models that moved and fought on screen. Suddenly, Agathamus wasn't just a scientific mystery anymore. It was a movie monster. The film reached millions of people who had never heard of paleontology. They watched this horned giant stomp across the screen and accepted it as real. Hollywood took Knight's educated guess and turned it into movie magic. Here's the wild part. An artist's imagination created the most famous image of a dinosaur that might not exist. Hollywood amplified that imaginary look and made it seem totally authentic. The cultural impact became bigger than the scientific truth. Sometimes what people believe matters more than what scientists can prove. Agathomas lived in the public imagination even while scientists questioned whether it was real. 
But while Agathamas was becoming famous, in art and movies, scientists were discovering some uncomfortable truths. What happens when scientists realize their greatest discovery might actually be a case of mistaken identity? Modern paleontologists have some tough news about Agathamas. They think it's probably just a Triceratops or Taurosaurus that got a fancy Greek name back in 1872. Here's where things get really confusing. Those original scientists claimed Agathomas stretched 49 feet long and weighed 17 tons. That would make it absolutely massive. But other scientists looked at the same hip bones and said it was closer to 30 feet long and 6 tons. That's like arguing whether a car is the size of a school bus or a regular pickup truck. Why can't scientists agree on something as basic as size? Think of it like trying to guess someone's height when you can only see their shoes. Those hip bones and ribs give you clues, but without complete skeletons to compare, you're basically making educated guesses. Different scientists use different methods to estimate size, and they get wildly different answers. The ecosystem where Agathumas lived makes the size question even more important. These Wyoming forests were dangerous places. Tyrannosaurus rex hunted in the same areas. Other massive predators stalked through the trees. If Agathumas was truly 49 feet long, it could defend itself against almost anything. But at 30 feet, it might have been prey for the biggest hunters. The size disagreements show us something cool about science. Scientists aren't afraid to change their minds when they get better evidence. The early paleontologists weren't wrong to get excited about those massive bones. They just didn't have all the information they needed. Modern paleontologists call Agathamas a dubious dinosaur because incomplete evidence leads to incomplete answers. You can't solve a puzzle when most of the pieces are missing. That's not a failure of science. That's science being honest about what it doesn't know yet. Agathomas teaches us that scientific understanding grows and changes over time. New discoveries help us see old mysteries in different ways. The story isn't about being right or wrong. It's about getting better at understanding the ancient world. This mystery shows us something important about how fossil science really works. Agathomas shows us that the best scientists aren't afraid to say, we don't know yet, when evidence is incomplete. That takes real courage. It's easier to make up answers than admit you need more information. Think about this. Somewhere right now, paleontologists might be digging up bones that will finally solve the Agathamas mystery. Or they might discover something even more amazing. The ground beneath your feet could be hiding incredible creatures we haven't found yet. What other great wonders are still buried out there, waiting for someone curious enough to find them? The next amazing discovery could happen anywhere. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.